What's going on? Today, we're going to talk about the five things that Michael Barai, myself, looks for in partnering with someone. So, my name is Michael Barai. I was able to build a team of 150 plus sales guys, and I've been in a lot of partnerships. I've been in a lot of business you know, relationships, and I've learned over the years what are the five things that I truly, truly look for in order to build a great relationship and partnership with someone, okay? So, what is number one? Well, they're not in a specific order, by the way, but what I do look for are these five important things. Number one, they have to have a skill set that I do not possess. If I'm gonna do business with someone, why would I want someone to partner with that has the same skill set as me? Now, they can have certain skill sets like me, but I wanted to cover some of my weaknesses. Like when I'm really looking for a partner, a running mate, a buddy that I wanna run with, I need them to have skill sets that I do not have and I do not possess. That is the purpose of a team, right? If I, let's say as an example, I'm amazing at Excel, and they're amazing at Excel, that's awesome. But what other skill sets do they have that can benefit our partnership, right? So you wanna be very careful when you get into business with someone, right? That you have different skill sets, right? Maybe the same skill sets, certain, you know, common denominators and certain stuff, but they have different skill sets that you can, they can bring to the table to help you grow your business, right? So if I have three partners or four partners, I don't want them to all be the same. Like a lot of my partners that I've had in my life, they either, or the partners I have today, they have a lot of different personalities than, than me, different characters than me. The values and the principles are the same, but the skill sets are completely different, right? So one of the things I look for is different skill sets, but very similar characteristics in terms of, of, of values and principles and things that we believe in, our belief systems, have to be aligned, right? So that's number one. Number two, they have to be driven. They have to be hungry for the vision. Not my vision, our vision. They have to be driven. They have to be hungry. They have to be so obsessed about getting that dream accomplished that nothing else matters. Right? I cannot partner with someone that wants to work 30 hours a week. It's just not going to rock. I cannot. I want to be with someone that's willing to go out there and crush it with me because I'm willing to sacrifice as much as possible. Like lately, my business has been doing very well, thanks to God, and I've been having a lot of time available in my schedule that I can do other things. And I'm looking for new ventures and new things to do, and guess what? If I'm partnering with someone, they better be running like I'm running because I'm trying to fill up my calendar as much as I possibly can to grow my business, to grow my life. And I don't want to be with someone that wants to sit there and chill. I love chilling, but guess what? When we have a vision, there's no time for chill. It's time to kill. It's time to attack. It's time to be hungry, right? The next thing, next thing I look for is emotional strength, emotional intelligence. Extremely important. By the way, I lacked this when I was younger, which is why a lot of people didn't want to partner with me, right? So if you may see that people don't want to partner with you, you got to look at your emotional you know, intelligence a little bit, right? Are you emotionally strong? Do you get angry easily? I used to get angry very easily. You could say one negative word about me, and I'll be fucking, I'll go crazy. I'm a different person today. I have emotional strength. I have emotional intelligence to say, you know what, hmm, let me pause that for a second. Let me understand where that comes from, right? Being aware of my own emotions and other people's emotions as well. Because remember, when you're doing a business, right, you're not dealing with products and services. You're dealing with people. And when you're dealing with people, you're dealing with other people's emotions, other people's lives, right? So it's very important to understand your own emotions and then be very aware of other people's emotions as well. Otherwise, what's the point? Right? You're not going to make a lot of money if you don't know how to deal with people. Right? The mo most richest people on the planet learn how to deal with people. Yeah, you can make a great product and a great service, but that can get you so far along because you can have an amazing product. If everybody hates you, you're not going to be the CEO. Right? You're not going to be the owner of that company. They're going to kick your ass out because you got to get good at people. Right? Very important. So emotional, uh, emotional connection, emo emotional strength, emotional intelligence is extremely important. Right? Number four, are they coachable? Do they want to grow themselves and educate themselves? Huge. Huge for me. If someone is saying to themselves, I learned enough, dead tomato for me. I cannot be around someone like that. I'm constantly evolving. I'm constantly growing. I'm constantly reading books. I'm constantly educating myself. I'm constantly looking at new ways and new angles to better myself. I like to go to events, a bunch of events a year, two, three, four, five, six events a year. I like to go to networking events. Like tonight I'm going to an event where there's going to be a bunch of successful NFL players, NBA players, a lot of successful people there, right? So I could build relationships with people that are better than me. I want to be around people that are better than me. I want to grow myself. I want to educate myself. And if I'm with someone that's doing business with and they don't want to grow, dude, that's not a guy for me. It's not a gal for me, right? Very important. And the last thing is they got to be available. What do I mean by that? I'm willing to work 100 hours a week. I'm willing to go out there and crush it. And if I give a phone call to one of my business partners, by the way, I'm not saying an employee, I'm saying a business partner. If I call my business partner at 9 o'clock at night and we need to have a conversation, guess what? They freaking answer the phone. If, I, if they call me at 9 in the morning, I'm answering the phone. They call me at 9 at night, I'm answering the phone. Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter. They're always available to discuss things about the business because sometimes the business, you need, that, you need that pickup, right? If you're in my inner circle as my business partner and I call you, you don't answer, that doesn't happen. When you're in my inner circle, it's a value system that I have. You better respond. Now, if you're busy, hey, I'm busy, I'll call you in a couple hours. That's fine. 
but you got to be available. You can't just disappear for two, three days. That doesn't happen. Because when you're a business partner with someone, you're doing everything together. You're building together. You're going out there. You're crushing. You're pushing. You're shoving. You're having challenges. You have ups. You have downs. You have less. You have to adapt to changes. Laws change. The economy changes. The market changes. Things change. you got to be ready. Right? And they got to be open and available to discuss those things and have the ability to not only just say, hey, Michael, uh, I agree with you all the time because I don't want yes people. I want them to say, I disagree. We need to do this. Like yesterday, I was talking to one of my partners yesterday. He's like, Michael, we need to do this. I, we just need to trust me. I was like, okay, whatever you say, we're doing it. I trust you. I was talking to my other partner in real estate. He got a little bit upset at me because I, you know, I said something. I, I, I kind of pushed back on a, on, a, on a thing we needed to do. He's like, Michael, do you trust me? Are you coachable? I said, yes, I, I am. Let's do it. You, if you say we need to do it, it's going to cost us a couple of grand, screw it. We got to do it because I trust you. You're my partner. That's how we got into business together. So it's very important to be available for your people and make sure that people are available to you. And those are the five things that I look for when it comes to a business partnership. There's a bunch more, obviously. These are the kind of like the main five ones. And uh, if you're going to be doing business with them, make sure you vet them. Make sure you see who the hell they are. Because once you get into that marriage, guess what? It's very hard to divorce them, right? Because you just started that business. You just started that new venture. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. If you could do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with a friend, and maybe share it with your new business partner, right? And then we'll see you guys in the next video.